um this video is specifically made for people who are writing IELTS so if you're a nurse and then you're actually writing IELTS then this video is actually going to talk about IELTS writing test um if you're not a nurse I, I must say that this video may not be beneficial to you for now on the other videos on my channel I will entreat you to watch um, but then if you know any nurse um, who actually desire to work in an English speaking country like the UK the US Canada um Australia then you can share this video to him or her because um, whatever I'm going to talk about now is the first step to having the opportunity to practice nursing in any of the aforementioned countries. So this is the writing test and I'm going to explain into details. I wrote IELTS and I passed and I'm here to share with you my experience. I mean the tricks and techniques I used in getting things right in here. So I'm going to use these illustrations to show you the nitty gritties of a writing test. So the moment you sit for, you register for IELTS. Um, what happens here is that you are going to write four main tests. You'll be sitting for the listening test, the reading test, the writing test, and the speaking test. But today, I want to concentrate on the writing test. So if you're a beginner um, in IELTS, or if you have the interest of writing IELTS, and you don't really understand the writing test, I mean the conformity of the writing test, then I'm going to talk about that today. You see, the writing test comprises of two tasks. You have the task 1 and the task 2. But for the sake of this video, I mean, I wouldn't want to dive much into the task 2. I'll be talking about the task 1. And I'll be giving a brief introduction to the tax one so that you get to know how to respect the very moment you look for IELTS. So um, let's start with the tax one. You'll be asked to describe diagrams. So that may include a line graph, a bar chart, pie chart, table, processes, and map. This is as simple as that. So um, you may get any of these diagrams to describe, and you have to do that within 20 minutes. You also have to write 150 words or more. Writing less than 150 words means that you have actually failed the exams. You want to know whether you can um, use certain terms and terminologies to describe these diagrams. So you don't have to panic. There's a trick and strategy to go about this, and I'll be showing that in a moment. So um, one may, I got this line graph. So as you can see with the illustration here, um, you'll be given a graph containing lines, and you'll be asked to write a description of it. I mean, describe it, talking about the highest and lowest, talking about where there's an increment and where there is a decrease. I mean, and a lot of that. There are a lot of things you have to view on the line graph to write about. This is also the bar chart. You'll be given a bar chart where you are to um, report on it and then talk about the highest and lowest, the equals, and all those things. So I'll be showing the tricks and techniques here too. So if you are actually not well versed in the writing test, you don't have to worry. All you have to do is to continue watching my videos because I'll be going step by step to let you understand it to the fullest. So this is a pie chart. You will also be given a pie chart where you are to talk about certain items in the pie chart. Then again, you'll be given a table to describe. I was fortunate I had a table, only one table to describe and it was actually easy. So you don't have to worry. You shouldn't panic at all. You just have to get the tricks and techniques and you are good to go. Then the process. The process has to do with um, telling how certain things are done. For example, you can ask to describe how electricity is generated. How maybe um, um, chocolate is produced. Or how, um, um, as I said, electricity is produced. How um, plants manufacture food. I mean, it's much more of process. How cement is made. So you may get a question like that. And the map, you may be asked to describe a map. I mean, where they, they will give you um, two maps for one specific country. So, for example, they will give a map of Ghana um, representing 1982, and they will give another one representing somewhere 2015, and they will ask you to actually report on the differences, similarities, what has been removed, and I mean, what has been added. It's not difficult. I will show you the tricks in a moment. So, um, this is actually all about the writing text. Um, there are times you may be given two of the diagrams to describe. So, you can get a line graph and a bar chart. Um, in the tax one and you have to describe them in unison you can also get two pie charts and you have to describe them as well you can get a table and a pie chart and you have to describe them as well and um you can also get a line graph and a table but i've not seen uh, the combination of process and let's say a table i've not seen the combination of process and a bar chart um, usually when you are given the process you only have that to describe and um that is true for the map as well so i mean um, it's nothing difficult. So the next thing is I'm going to show you the tricks and techniques you have to use when it comes to the tax one. So if you want to get that, then um, come with me to the next video. I'm going to explain that into details. As I said, I'm going to do that gradually. I want to take everything step by step. So I'm going to start with the buy chart where I will show you the tricks and techniques to use to actually grab the concepts there.